November 7th, 2021. That is the last time I featured one of my favorite funds designed for high passive income on the US stock market. So that video was on Riv and OPP, two funds managed by River North. It's been way too long, too long everyone, and it's definitely time for me to talk about one of my favorite American listed ETFs that right now gives 15 to 20% dividend yield. That's right, I'm talking about the Simplify Volatility Premium ETF, stock symbol SVOL or SVOL. Super unique, super high yield ETF that pumps out um, a lot of monthly income. So of course I'm super interested and I'll talk about it on this channel. Now I know many of you watching are Canadians and invest on the Canadian stock market, but as you already know, I pretty much invest exclusively in US listed funds uh, in our retirement accounts in our RRSP accounts because there's no 15% withholding tax on any of the dividends or any of the distributions thanks to the tax treaty between Canada and the US. So stay with me if you're Canadian everyone because this ETF is one of the biggest positions in my RRSP and I think it's a great ETF if you're passive income focused investor for your RRSP as well. I'm also very excited because later in the video I will actually talk to the fund manager who actually manages this ETF at Simplify ETFs. This is my very first US fund manager Q&A video or interview. So hopefully this will get, give me the leverage needed to get more US fund managers to come on this channel in the near future. My goal is really to talk to all the fund managers for the funds that I invest in. So let's quickly look at what this ETF is all about, everyone, how it works, what it holds, the management fees, how it makes such a massive 15% yield. It could very well be the most unique and ridiculous way to make such a high monthly income uh, in the stock market off of other investors' fear, which is pretty much infinite. Just want to take a quick moment to thank my sponsor and partner for the entire month of May, Hamilton ETFs, the experts in the financial sector. A title well deserved because they manage the top performing big Canadian banks ETF in terms of total return and performance, HCAL. They also have a brand new financials ETF, HFIN, which is even more broad in scope and covers the entire Canadian financials landscape. Not to mention, they created two of my favorite ETFs of all time, HYIELD and HDIV, which I like to call all-in-one covered call ETF. So make sure to check out their website as well as the multiple videos I made on some of their funds, including Q&As with the founder of Hamilton ETFs, Rob Wessel. All links in the video description below. All right, let's check out SVOL, guys. So whenever you're doing research, always, always go on the fund's website. So I'm on, I am on Simplify ETF's website. So like the name said, the name kind of says it all, right? Volatility premium. So volatility means pretty much the VIX right? VIX equals volatility index premium because you're collecting premium. So here you have the NAV, the net asset value, the stock price. This is an ETF. It's an open-ended fund, which means the NAV and the stock price will always be very, very, uh, you know, neck and neck basically. So it's not like a closed end fund where you sometimes will have a big spread. So let's just read here because this is basically the best way to figure out what this ETF does. So it seeks to provide investment results before fees and expenses that corresponds approximately one-fifth to three-tenths. So uh, 0 0.02 to 0 0.03, basically between 20% and 30%, the inverse of the performance of the S&P 500 VIX short-term futures index. So basically it uses 20 to 30% of its cash of the funds NAV to short the VIX while seeking to mitigate extreme volatility. So I'll explain how that works in a second. So they go on to say, we believe many traditional sources of income are failing to meet investors' needs in today's low yield environment. That's true. Fixed income doesn't cut it anymore. SVO aims to provide an attractive income stream and source of diversification while seeking to avoid risks inherent in other income producing asset classes. So the fund's short VIX position provides investors an optimized exposure for monetizing the premium in the VIX futures market. So this is what makes the money. Basically, you're shorting the VIX. This is the option that they sell. And a modest option overlay budget. You'll see this term often in a lot of the new ETFs that are coming out where they try to hedge or they try to protect uh, in case they're doing an option strategy. So that's really what option overlay means. So is deployed into VIX call options. So they buy call options on the VIX uh, as a protection, right? To help protect against adverse moves in the, in the VIX. So they do have a nice little three-minute video, guys, if ever you want to check it out, that explains 
um, how SVOL works. I strongly suggest you go on the website to check it out. But let's just look at the details here. So you have all the information. The management fee on this fund is actually fairly low. It's a very simple ETF. So I doubt it would have a you know big management fee. So it's pretty much 0.50 as a management fee. And then everything together is 0.54. That would be the MER. Right now, the yield. So the third, when you see 30-day yield, it just means the this is the yield based on the last dividend based on the current stock price of april 30th so right now it's showing us at 19 percent yield which is pretty accurate but i'll i'll have my own take on that in a second so what i want to do is just look at what this oh yeah there's there's the fund performance of course this fund you know right now it's in the negative it's only like seven months old so you can't really you can't really pay attention to the fund's performance you know if it was out for 10 years then this would matter but it's only been out for a few months six or seven months so and obviously the stock market is getting very volatile which means that this etf you know it doesn't do as well when, when volatility is spiking so take this with a grain and salt i wouldn't pay attention to this right now uh, what I want to pay attention or show you guys is what the what this ETF actually holds. So you could kind of, you know, it might be hard to understand. It took me a little while to kind of figure out what it does, but basically here is the the shorting. So this is this is the they do it once a month, right? So this is the May uh, short position on the VIX, and you could see here that it, you know, it that's why it's a minus. You know, when you're shorting something, you'll see a negative, you'll see a minus. So 10% of the fund is going to the May. Uh, VIX short and then they also bought the or sold the June one which is 18% so like it said at the beginning right 20 to 30% so 18 plus 10 28 so it's very very accurate and now here is the protective call option that they're buying you can actually see that here may and you actually have the price of the call option it's 35 so the VIX uh, right now is in it's 32.56, so it's fairly high, right? Whenever the VIX is over 30, it means volatility is pretty high in the market. You actually see the whole graph of the VIX. Is, and as you could see, the big spikes, 2008 and 2020, right? But besides that, most of the time, the VIX is always under under 30, right? It's, it's a lot calmer more than it goes crazy, right, the VIX. So there is the actual protective call option and it's at 35 so if ever the vix goes higher than 35 if the volatility goes nuts and nuts and it goes to 30 40 or 65 like it happened in, during covid uh the fund is protected so uh 35 it's very out of the money right so out of the money means it's far further from the actual vix price which is 32.56 so 35 is definitely out of the money because it's out of the money of the stock price so that's what it means so that's what you have here and everything else is basically or the majority of the fund is actually cash or short-term treasury u.s treasuries which is pretty much the second safest thing to cash and this is basically what's needed to pay for the call option and of course to put your money on hold every month to short the vix so that's pretty much it in a nutshell what i want to show you and of course this is important for us income investors is the monthly distribution so this is the great part about this fund the monthly distributions are very very high you could see the last five so 35 cents 39 cents 34 cents 36 32 so it is different and it's going to be different every month because it depends on the option premiums but give or take everyone if we just look at this let's just say the average and this is a low estimate is let's just say 34 cents a month, right? 34 cents. So if we actually take 34 cents a month on average, that's monthly. So we have to do times 12, obviously, if you want the annual. So $4.08. So let's just even lower it again. Let's even go more conservative and let's say it's $4 a year. Well, right now, SVOL is at $22.29 while I'm filming this video. So if you would buy SVOL, invest in SVOL right now, $22.29, Basically, your yield would be $4 divided by the stock price, right? The annual dividend rate divided by stock price times 100. Your yield would be about 17.94%. Absolutely monstrous yield. And the yield, just like, uh, you know, the homepage says, I don't know if it says it in the homepage, but it's because I, I, I kind of cheated. I talked to the fund manager. So we'll see that in a second. They're aiming for 15 to 20% yield. So that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. It's been out for seven months or eight months now. And it's been very, very consistent with the, the dividends. If you want the full history, you could actually check them here. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's been out for eight months and the dividends 
do change every month, but they're fairly, you know, they're, they're near on average, they're about 34 cents. It could be a little bit higher. It could be a bit lower, sometimes a lot lower, sometimes a lot higher, like at 39 cents. So give or take, it's about uh, 34 cents a month. So very, very, very cool ETF here. Very cool way to make money on basically nothing. I mean, there, there's no assets here. So it's not like you're invested in tech stocks or you're invested in healthcare companies or, or you know what I mean? This is basically you're just making money every month off shorting the VIX off of options, basically. So really, really cool concept. Very, very unique. And let me just give you my thoughts and quick summary on this ETF. And then we'll talk to the fund manager himself. So there you have it, everyone. Like I said, pretty cool, pretty unique and kind of absurd strategy to really make high passive income, right? Without actually holding anything. So you're simply collecting VIX options premiums, which are very high, they're very rich. Don't forget that option premiums are more rich, the more volatile something is, right? This is why the new covered call Bitcoin and Ether ETFs from Purpose Investments have such high yields because Bitcoin and Ether are very, very volatile assets. So it's normal that the premium SVO collects by shorting the VIX is also very rich hence the 15 percent yield you could easily make and 15 percent yield annually by the way is actually a conservative estimate on the yield that this etf can make i actually confirmed this with the fund manager himself who we'll talk to in a second before that i just want to ensure you understand uh, that protective call option this etf buys it's important because this is what protects SVOL to a certain extent in case the VIX spikes, kind of like what it's doing now, right? So remember everyone that one of the fundamental uses of options in the stock market is to hedge a bet or a position. Hedge means to protect, right? So basically you buy yourself a little insurance in case something goes wrong, like car insurance, like house insurance, you pay, you pay a small premium every month to the insurance company, right? Just in case. This is the same thing. This is how you should think of this protective call option this ETF buys every month. So yes, it takes away a little bit from the yield, but since it's far out of the money, like we saw, at 35 right that call option was 30 at 35 dollars 35 on the vix the option is fairly cheap to buy so buying a call option on the same asset you are shorting in this case what svol does it shorts the vix it could give you some protection in case the vix spikes like like it did in 2008 2020 and like it's kind of doing now so hopefully you understand how this etf works and how options work in terms of protecting or hedging your bets in summary Okay, if you are shorting something, which means you are betting something will go down in value, that's what SVOL does, you would buy a call option as a hedge. So you can mitigate losses if the asset goes up a lot in a short period of time. If you are long something, if you think or betting that the price on something will go up, you buy a put option as a protective hedge. And if you're still lost, guys, that's okay. It doesn't really matter because the ETF manager does all the work for us. They are the experts. I would never do this kind of options trading stuff on my own, even though many people do it on their own. There's nothing wrong with it. But personally, I don't even have options trading enabled in my investing accounts. I'd rather leave it to the pros and I don't want to spend any of my time doing that, right? My channel is called Passive Income investing not active income investing for a reason and by the way if ever you want to learn more about the vix and how it works and the options on the vix i saw a really good video recently uh, on youtube so i'll put that the link to the video down below if ever you want to learn more about that on your own but now it's time to talk to the people at simplify etfs who actually manage the fund let's check it out all right thanks so much for joining us guys i am joined i have the privilege of speaking with uh, bobby ivanova from uh, Simplify ETFs, of course. She is the business development uh, vice president there and Silesh Gupta, uh, head of trading portfolio manager. So thanks so much for joining us on the channel. I really appreciate it. All right, well, great. Thanks for having us, Adriano. Um, and just for your viewers, if they don't know much about Simplify, we launched yes, our first please. fund in September 2020. So for a little over a year and a half, we've been quite successful in raising assets. At the moment, we're a little over 1.3 billion, uh, and we have a total of 22 funds. So we've mainly worked with financial advisors, really providing building blocks and better ways for them to build the portfolios. So thanks again for having us. Perfect, and congrats on your success. You guys are growing very, very quickly in the US, so that's that's really cool. Um, that's really good. So um, 
Hope Thanks, Adrian, for having us here. Uh, saw a couple of your uh, no problems, Silesh. Go ahead. Uh, podcasts on uh, on YouTube and found it very educational. Shared with some of my friends. And at Simplify, our endeavor is also to educate the investing uh, investors about uh, risk and returns, various, possi various possibilities which are available yes. in the market. Perfect. Thanks so much for the intro, guys. Really appreciate it. So we'll get into it right away. As you know, like we discussed before, my YouTube channel is all about income-oriented investing. So I'm very, very uh, curious and interested in your volatility income strategy. So can you describe really what this strategy is for fairly newer do-it-yourself investors who aren't familiar with things like the VIX or options? It could be very difficult for retail investors to understand. So you could, could you just give me a quick overview of how your income volatility strategy works? Sure. So in this strategy, we generate income by shorting VIX futures. We short... Uh, we uh, futures uh, to the extent of 20 to 30 percent and the goal there is to okay. generate around 20 percent income by uh, shorting these futures and uh, what we do is we use part of the income which is generated we buy call options on VIX or uh, VIX ETF so in case the volatility spikes the options come into play. Okay perfect and just for someone who has no idea what the VIX is how would you describe to them or explain what is the VIX? Uh, VIX is popularly known as the fear index, mm -hmm. but technically it is the variable which goes in the pricing of options. When the VIX is high, options are more expensive and the VIX is low, options are cheaper. Okay, so you guys are basically shorting the VIX in, in, in this strategy. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you said I heard about 20% premium that's 20 percent a year and out of that 20 percent yield a year you have a small portion that buys uh the cover the, the call options right just in case the vix spikes you have that call option that's correct so how much you know on average including the call option what would you say the yield would be approximately on average every year i know it's hard to say because this uh you know the strategy has been out for only six seven months so there's only been six seven distributions or so but what would be your ballpark figure for the average yield yeah uh, i would say we are targeting around 15 percent or so could okay be very higher high it could be a little lower but you know around that ballpark i think uh, that should be the average over the next few years okay perfect fair enough that's very high yield so my audience as you know very very interested in high yield securities so how did you guys come up with this amazing income oriented uh, strategy or, or you know for who is this for what kind of investor is this strategy geared for yeah uh, vix became uh, interesting after the blowout in covid typically short vix strategies are more attractive once the you know vix has already blown out kind of a thing and so after covid uh, market volatility i was discussing this with simplify team and uh, uh, we figured uh, that uh, generating income through you know this uh, source could be an attractive way you know in a low yielding environment it's an alternative way to generate income right makes perfect sense music to my ears and uh, you know we've discussed the distributions a little bit they're yielding about 15% um is this sustainable are these yields sustainable uh and 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 if yes why, why do you think so the the source of this yield is demand for vix you know demand for vix especially is high you know after a, you know a market has experienced uh, high volatility during covid uh, you know during 2020 that uh, the demand for options are much uh, higher so demand for vix is also higher and vix is something you cannot you know you cannot buy or sell vix you have to buy or sell futures uh, so typically the futures prices trade rich or higher as compared to VIX, and that creates a lot of premium. So somebody takes the other side, ends up collecting that premium. Okay. So demand for VIX is expected to be high for the foreseeable future, so that should result into you know, the opportunity to collect that premium. Okay, so options is literally the only way, you can't just buy a share of the VIX then, right? You have to buy, you have to go through the options trading, correct? To participate I mean, if you long. buy, If you buy options, VIX is one of the parameters you know, which is used to to price options. However, you can take a position on VIX through the futures market. You can just bet on VIX going up or down through the futures market. So okay. there, you know, uh, 
keeping aside the options, just the variable on VIX can be one can take a position through the futures market. Okay, perfect. Let's talk about that protective call option. So how far out of the money is that call option uh, when you buy it every month? I'm assuming you buy it on a monthly basis, right? That's correct. So typically we buy options around 100 to 200% out of the money. What that means is like 2x or 3x times the VIX. Just to give a sense that uh, during COVID, VIX jumped like 5x or four, you know, five and a half x kind of a thing. So if you have options with a strike two to three times VIX and the VIX jumps five times, so those options can make a lot of money. Okay, perfect. So there is downs. Basically, this is for downside protection. Correct. So if you're short VIX futures, they can lose a lot of money if VIX goes five times. Yeah. So it's better, you know, good to have options which would be making a lot of money, you know, in that scenario. Okay. So that buffers the downside, so to say. Okay. Is it? Am I correct in saying that this kind of strategy technically doesn't hold anything, like you know, a particular sector in the market or a particular asset class? It technically doesn't hold anything. So. Uh, logically, as long as the VIX doesn't spike too much, like you just discussed, should the the price of the product be stay relatively stable? How do you see that have, uh, working out in, in the medium to long term? Right. So all this exposure we talked about futures and options, you know, are derivatives, which doesn't require any cash, only some collateral. So most of the cash is invested in short term treasuries. So if the VIX okay. is not changing significantly, the volatility of the portfolio would be very, very small because of the short term treasuries. That's the only holding outside these derivatives. OK, perfect. And um, this is a very, very unique strategy. Uh, and just comparing it to other income, very popular income oriented funds or strategies in the US, especially you have covered call uh, ETFs like from Global X. So how would you compare this type of strategy to a regular vanilla covered call strategy? Would you say it's better? Would you say it's better in a certain situation? Um, how would you compare it or, or another another way of phrasing it? Why would someone choose this strategy over just an ETF like QYLD, a vanilla covered call strategy? Uh, we discussed about the premium. Now think about this way, that uh, in a covered call strategy, you're collecting the premium by selling options. And uh, there are many funds which are selling, uh, you know, call options uh, like the covered calls. So, you know, on the other hand, there are not many funds which are selling VIX. So effectively, there's a large amount of premium available to small number of uh, funds. So that's why on a relative basis, you know, uh, you know, the demand supply imbalance favor, you know, VIX strategies as compared to the traditional covered call strategies. OK, I, I, I see. I see what you mean. That, that makes sense. So it's a bit of a newer type of strategy which has high demand, really. OK. Uh, so it's like uh, you're drilling for oil. Yeah. You want to drill when nobody else is drilling or, exactly. you know, put your pipe where everybody else is drilling. Exactly. And do you see other fund managers in the future start copying this strategy? What, what would happen? Would, would the premiums still be as rich? Or what, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, typically these strategies are used by hedge funds. And, right. uh, you know, they get into, you know, when there is an extra amount of premium, then only they get involved. And other funds can replicate this, but uh, you know our uh, solid operations team knows you know how complicated this, you know what goes behind the scene. You know from the outside, it's a simple strategy, but implementation through compliance, as Bobby mentioned, and uh, so on and so forth, uh, can be a big challenge. So you know, and obviously there is the advantage of first movers, so to say, that we have put in the pipes in place, we have put in the uh, the drill, uh, and nobody else has put in. So you know we will continue to you know get the maximum rewards perfect and, and congrats on the success i mean i think the, the 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 strategy is surpassing or very close to surpassing 100 million in assets which is really good for six seven months so um, i was looking at the whole list of um you know simplify etfs and this strategy seems to be really the only one that's really uh you know very very high yield income oriented so do you guys have any plans for future uh, products where it's really tailored towards income seeking investors where we will we would see these type of really really nice premiums you know be over 10 percent premium or up to 15 percent like this strategy any plans for any future similar funds uh, we have other credit funds where the target yield or current yield is around three to five percent there we take credit and interest rate exposure with downside protection 
So you know the, that is geared, geared towards more fixed income oriented uh, you know uh, investors. However, this strategy is similar to other Simplify products. That the general theme in all our products is you know downside protection. So you know this is this is how the genesis of this uh, strategy came in. Wick strategy, short wick strategies have large downside. So they have a heavy need for downside protection, and right. that is our speciality. And that's how all this product mix uh, makes sense. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks a lot for all your your time and your answers. It was really, really helpful. I'm sure my audience will uh, appreciate it. So, uh, you know, that's all the questions I had. So once again, thank you guys so much. And uh, keep me in the loop. Let me know if ever you have any more income-oriented products uh, that uh, you'll, you're coming up with. My audience is always looking for more. I'm always looking for more. So once again, thank you very much. And congrats on the success. And good luck with the future. Oh, thank you, Adrian. Thanks so much, Adriano. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it please show your appreciation by hitting that like button it helps the channel grow it's free for you it's a win-win it takes two seconds i would really appreciate it also consider subscribing if you like this type of content my channel is all about investing for maximum passive income so please subscribe hit that little bell button as well so you're notified whenever a new video comes out you don't want to miss my upcoming content and of course make sure to visit our website passiveincomeinvesting.ca that's where you could purchase and and sign up for my digital product the ultimate diy investing package which is on version 3 right now so i'm very proud of this product i'm very proud of this package it comes with lifetime updates so you only have to buy it once and when you do you will have all the next updates for free and i do plan on making version 4 or coming out with version 4 in q3 of 2020 uh, too. So that package will help you invest on your own. Basically, it has lists of funds, ETFs, closed end funds, split funds, as well as a lot of sample portfolios. I have sample portfolios for Canadians and Americans and uh, tailored to different investing needs, not just income like I do, but also growth, also dividend. There's low risk income, aggressive income. So it's a very, very cool product to help really help you build your own portfolio. That's really what it's designed for. So make sure to pick it up if you haven't already purchased it. And of course, uh, there's also a bunch of free tools and resources on my website at the top right, free tools and resources. And right there on the homepage, I do offer a one-on-one -on -one consultation service with yours truly. So if ever you want really more personalized help, you could book a one-on-one -on -one with me. We'll have a one-hour Zoom call. I'll go over your existing portfolio. I'll help you transition to an income portfolio. I'll answer all your questions. Whatever your needs are, I really love helping people out. And my, my appointments do sell out very, very quickly. I apologize. I can't do more than four a week because I need time to do the con to uh, publish more content, of course. So just look at the little message on top of the calendar right there on the home page to get a status of the appointments usually i will open up uh the appointments for the next month on the 25th of each month so stay tuned for that and um also if you want to join our community we have a facebook group with over 10,000 members now passive income investing that's the name of the facebook group so if you like this sort of content i strongly suggest you join the facebook group we monitor it very closely for spam so it's very very clean and everyone shares their ideas and shows their portfolio and the income they're making every month it's very very exciting that the community is growing so make sure to join us on facebook we're also on instagram so instagram um, make sure to follow us if you want a little bit more personal uh content on our life uh including our new our move to panama so if you want a little bit more personalized content to us uh you could always follow us on Instagram. So the mission of this channel, my mission will never change. It will always be the same, everyone. It's to help everyday, normal, regular people invest on their own to do do-it-yourself investing so they could build their own stream of passive income and enhance their quality of life and eventually become financially free, financial, financially independent like us. So with that, take care, guys. Make sure to stay healthy, stay safe, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.